What's going on, everybody? This is Skates. Uh, I had somebody ask me how to do 808 glides inside a machine. So I'll show a video on how to do that. This is one of those videos that will help you if you're new to machine or just new to production in general, because it's something that is not only able to be done in machine, but some, it's one of those things you have to learn in regards to how it is a sampler's work as a whole. And then once you've got that, you can do it on anything. So first thing you want to do, of course, is load in your 808. I got this drum loop going. something trappy for the kids so go back to this 808 that i have uh two things you want to immediately do um, you want to go to the polyphony settings on this page and make this one what polyphony means is how many voices are going to be able to be played voices meaning how many notes you can press at the same time is normally eight by default so you want to set that to look gato which means to a, a direct strike just one right there's a glide knob that's right next to it. And this again is on every single sampler. Um, I normally go for somewhere between five and 10, depending on how long of a glide I want. And you can automate that, show that later on. So I'll throw this in keyboard mode. So now, as opposed to it doing this, it's sounding terrible, right? We set it to legato, it cuts itself. Right, and now you can glide, right? Now, the thing about gliding is you can't glide from like one semitone to the next semitone or the or one note to the next note in the scale. It's a glide, but you can't really hear it. It's not until you go at least like three to four to five more octaves sound great, right? Um, another thing you can do if you want more control over your 808s is go over to the next screen here in the sampler on page two and change the type from one shop to ADSR. Now what that's going to do is give you full control over how long a note is played. Meaning as soon as you let it go, it's when it'll stop. So if you got a really, really long 808 sample, see how long this one is. Let's say this 808 was like a full bar 808 for God knows why, right? It then is going to give you all the editing capability that you need so it's not running out that long. So now that we got that, let's uh, try something out. Hold this record button down. It's going to allow you to set the amount of bars that you have. I'm set this to eight by default, just my preference. Let's try something out. Great, so we got that. Now, if you wanna get crazier and do super dynamic, like pitch bends and different things like that, you can go back here um where is it at there we go so pitch bend you can set that to 12 and then you can automate it i personally don't like automation inside of machine but it's here Hit the e key and that'll turn the pencil on And it's here, pitch modulation. Now, the thing that's cool about machine is that you can do pitch modifications in a step sequence type of fashion. It works kind of weird, but it's available. I'm not a real big fan of it, which is why I use automation and other DAWs. So I might do something like this and then turn it off and then try to draw a line like that. So 
Let's try this here. And bring this back down to zero. So you can do things like that inside a machine as well. Now, I prefer doing it in Ableton and Studio One, which are the DAWs that I normally do this in when I use machine, but it's there for you. Um, if you mess around with it enough, um, you can also automate it directly from the knobs. Uh, something I also normally don't do inside a machine. I do it when I'm doing live performances, but not and like mid production, but it's there if you want to use it functionality. Um, if you want to use this in any other type of things, uh, but this is, you know, just one of them tutorials that I know the community needed, especially if you just copped a, a native instruments, uh, complete control M32, which I will be purchasing like in the next week. Um, and you got Ableton live with it for free. So this is something that's available to you. Um, I'll also show how this is done and Another great video on getting those 808 slides and things like that. It's a video from a guy by the name of DCAP. DCAP music beats are crazy. His drum kits are absolutely crazy. Uh, one of the most charting drum kits on Splice. If you don't know about him, definitely check it out. He has a dope video on 808 glide specifically in Ableton. Um, if you have any other questions, comments, concerns at all, hit my DM either on Instagram or on Twitter um, or on uh, YouTube. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything else you want to watch. I'm about to get out of here, get my day started. Again, my name is Skates. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace.